The first time I heard Sofago was when his music video Hits on Hits was recommended to me. I was pretty impressed and at the time, it didn't sound like anything I had ever heard before. Fast forward two years and he's on Lyrical Lemonade, back when it kinda mattered at least, with his extremely viral song, Knock Knock. Now, this man's career wasn't as quick as you might think it was. He had been dropping music at least since 2016. That's a really long time and bro was dedicated. Long story short, it all worked out and most people know his success story. But the more interesting thing about his career at the moment, in my opinion, is how he went from he fell off and his music sucks now to a super comeback. Let's get into my opinion of how I think this happened. So skipping over all the stuff he had to do to get into the position he's in, because at this point, that's not even relevant. So Fago signs to Cactus Jack in 2021, right? At the time, most people were pretty excited because this was the sign that he was really heading into the next level, being only one tier below Travis Scott, who was a massive artist at this point with a super cult fan base. And after this, um, nothing. There were concert appearances, interviews, but no music. People were becoming restless waiting on this man to drop. This meme is pretty accurate to how people felt about him at the time. And it's still kind of relevant. It's fucking hilarious. I mean, it was literally years in between releases for him. Months down the road, and at this point, people were beginning to think that him signing the Cactus Jack was a huge mistake. I mean, was it them holding him back from dropping or was it himself? The answer wasn't really clear. What was clear was that this man wasn't dropping at the end of the day. I mean, he dropped one single song in 2021 and god damn, it was a pretty sought after snippet, but it was just a little underwhelming. Wasn't really a bad song, just wasn't really what people wanted after a year of waiting on new music from him. June 14, 2022, after a while of hearing literally nothing, the Sofago Reddit was absolutely demolishing him for not dropping, but he would drop before Pink. Now, this EP was honestly met with pretty harsh criticism, in my opinion. I mean, you had people saying it sucked and it wasn't what they wanted. Now, keep in mind, not everyone was saying that. It was just more so where you were seeing on Twitter. I mean, people were literally clowning him unnecessarily. I didn't think it was horrendous. I just thought it was a pretty big step down from his older work for sure. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure 95% of these songs were just throwaways from the upcoming album, you know what I mean? It's funny because listening to it now, it really isn't that bad. Like, people just didn't want that at that moment. Yes, people wanted music, but what they needed was the album. November 11th, 2022, he would finally drop Pink Hearts. This album was met with mixed reviews and there's a couple of reasons for that, I think. Number one, people were expecting only hype music. Now, I mean, you can't expect an artist to just stick to one thing and just, you know, let it rock. After three years of literally not consistently dropping music, people obviously were going to change. I mean, the reason I don't too much revisit this album is because I feel like there's a certain mood I have to be in to listen to it and I'm just not usually in that mood. It is what it is it's not a bad thing uh number two he waited way too long to drop this i mean now i completely get why an album would take years to drop some musicians just take their craft so seriously and they want it to be picture perfect in their mind how they want it to be i mean look at fucking cardi we haven't gotten a project from this nigga in almost four fucking years now whether that be because perfecting the craft or leaks is up to you but back to fago people just sort of clowned him when this album finally dropped because the fact that it took so long versus what people got people weren't really understanding in the correlation. Me personally, I don't give a fuck about first week sales, but I do have to add the fact that this album didn't even hit Billboard 200 in the first week. It didn't do that great immediately, and it really looked like Sofago had slipped up and flopped. People were blaming Cactus Jack, him, and whatever else they could because people were just disappointed. That was until this song. Now, yay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever this shit's called, it drops, right? It's like the entire story gets fucking flipped. This is where it starts to get confusing, right? Because when he dropped this song, all I was seeing on Twitter was, they goes back. This is so hard. They go over Cardi, all type of shit. People really like this song, and I would honestly say it's because it reminds them of old Fago. I mean, that's the comments I keep seeing everywhere. This one song instantly brought him back to that middle gray area where people loved him again, but they wanted more music. Music, of course. Only a month after this, what really brought on the topic of a comeback was the Go EP. Now this did just come out a few days ago, but I've already seen multiple people saying Sofago made a comeback and he's genuinely back on top. When I listened to this EP, I completely understood where people were coming from. This in my opinion is what people really wanted from Fago. Like, 
It's almost like Cactus Jack finally let him do what he wanted to fucking do because god damn this EP is good. People were saying it reminds him of the old Fago, and while I don't fully agree with that, I do think he's just kind of evolved into this thing that's like way better if it makes sense. Like obviously his old music is really really good, but I think the new Fago is just as good if not a little better even. I think it's his best project from the past three years, genuinely. Like the beat selection is amazing, all the songs are fire. Now I'm not sitting here trying to glaze but I mean, it really is that good. In the end, I think people really just wanted more memorable beats maybe and more hype music. I mean, Benny X produced tracks on this and you literally cannot go wrong with that man's production. It really seems like he unlocked something inside of him for this EP and I'm pretty sure that the next album will feel just like this, if not better. People love this album, as you can tell, it's doing really good on streaming services and that's why I think from everyone clowning him and saying he fell off to where he is now, it's safe to say he made the ultimate comeback. Now, the interesting thing is that while he may have made a comeback it's gonna be intriguing to see what he does with all this hype that he's rebuilt i mean this nigga really made it out of the hood went back to grab something and then made it out again so it's like what's next for this man is he gonna release another album or a u.s tour only time will tell now this is one of my favorite comments i've ever received on my channel because maybe kevin h is right sometimes the shit talking is unnecessary maybe i should just stick with the facts maybe nobody does care about my personal opinion he couldn't finish the video and, and you know what I'm just, I'm gonna go cry in a corner. Fuck it, man. I'm not shit. I'm not shit. I'm not shit. <laughs> what the hell is this? Huh? Well, Kevin H said that nobody cares about my opinion and he called me a little kid. <laughs> Did you not just hit 10k on YouTube? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kevin H, but I'm gonna have to throw my opinion in here. I feel like that's the way I sauce my videos up. So in my opinion, here's where I think Sofago kind of fucked up a little bit. I think he took way too long to drop like an actual project, number one. And then number two, you should never drop throwaways before the album. <laughs> I mean, that's like the dumbest shit on earth. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people are NPCs, right? Prime example, Kevin H. <laughs> They won't really be able to tell that these are throwaways. They're thinking, oh, this is just a regular project. And they're throwaways for a reason. You know, the songs just aren't as good. So it's like, you could do like Tyler, the creator. He dropped the estate sale and then he dropped the deluxe, which was pretty much songs that just didn't make the album after the fact. You know what I'm saying? That's smart. Going in reverse, I think is just stupid, especially when you take three fucking years to drop. So that's where I feel like Sofego fucked up, but hopefully he kind of just becomes a little bit more consistent Consistent, I think that would help him in the long run. Now, real quick, real quick, real quick. I know it's the end of the video. I just kind of want to go ahead and drop this video because I do have a really big video I'm working on. I did just want to say thank you guys so much for the support and thank y'all for 10K. I mean, I literally, I don't know. I, I can't fathom it. it it's, it's crazy as shit, but um, I love you guys and I'm out. Later.